Hey everyone, I am so excited. I wanna show you guys one of my favorite hairstyles that's actually easier than it looks. So every style that we do here is gonna be something that you guys are able to accomplish. Hair is a little intimidating, but I want to make it not that way and make it more fun. So buckle up and grab your ponio because you will need it for this look. I recommend the ponio because it makes your hair look so much thicker. And that's one thing that I love because I've got finer hair. And it's non-damaging, so it's not gonna damage your beautiful hair. Like, why are we damaging our hair? It's almost 2022, there's no need to be ripping and pulling and damaging your beautiful hair. Let's stop that. It's comfortable, so it feels like there is nothing in your hair. These bumps right here give you a secure hold without tugging, pulling, giving headaches. It's a lifesaver. It does not stretch, it bends. So it's a bendy piece that you can manipulate into your ponytail. You want these very sharp, deliberate bends because that's going to give you that nice fold. Okay, let's get to styling. So today we are going to work on an inside out braid. Super easy once you get the hang of it. You can do it with your eyes closed. So I'm gonna show y'all how to accomplish that and secure it with your ponio to give you a really pretty stylish ponytail that is unique and so flippin' cute. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather all my hair on one side. I typically do a middle part, but for this style, I'm gonna do a nice side part, a deep side. Um, and I like to leave a little bit of hair in the front. I feel like it gives me a face frame, and I personally love that. You don't need to do that, but I, that's kind of how I like to style my hair. Um, so I'm gonna take a piece of the hair right back here where, and I'm gonna kind of separate my, my bang that I'm gonna keep out. And I'm going to do three pieces just like that, okay? So separate those. And I'm going to, you know how braiding you go over and over? No. It's for the inside out braid, which makes it look 3D. Like these braids look so cool because it's like popping out versus like in. So instead of going over, we're gonna go under. So watch me go under. So here's my piece going underneath. And again, underneath, okay? So we're gonna keep going like that with our French braid. So I'm gonna grab another little piece like I would with a normal French braid. It's that easy. So if you know how to French braid, you can do this for sure. So I'm going to go under, not over, okay? And again, I'm just gonna repeat that all the way down my head. So just keep going underneath. So under, under, under. So keep grabbing as we go down. And I like to keep the top part together because that's gonna make it a smooth top. Okay. Under. So every time you do it, just tell yourself under, 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 and that will help you remember. Because I know it's a habit to go over with that French braid, but we are doing inside out French braids today. Almost there, guys. Okay, so we're at the bottom. I'm going to just grab this last piece and then I'm gonna just continue the braid a little bit the ways down, just so that if it does unravel while putting on the ponio, we'll still have a nice braid at the top. Okay, so here we are. Here's our braid. It's already really cute, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and gather the rest of my hair that is not braided and gather it into a side pony. And now from here, all we're going to do is put the ponio on. What you wanna do is use two fingers, so your pointer and your thumb. Do not, I repeat, do not do this. It's awkward, it's weird, it's hard to grab your hair. Instead, do those two fingers, grab your hair, feed it through. Okay, now squeeze her flat, and then bend the ends. So you have that horseshoe shape like I showed you uh, off my head. I'm already loving where we're going here. And we're not done yet. Okay, now for the fun part. We're going to manipulate our braid and make it huge. Because the more drama, the better in your hair. So it's gonna be big, 
and bubbles. So I always start from the bottom because that's the base and that's the more secure part. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to the bottom and just give it a light tug with my fingertips. Okay, so lightly tugging. Great, until you get it to the desired size. We're gonna keep going as we go up. You don't want to over pull because you could pull your braid out. So just be very aware of that. Look at how dramatic this already is. And then let's go to the top. Perfect. Look how cool. And the ponio makes your hair look thicker. Like look how thick that circumference is. It gives you this round, big base, and that makes your hair, it's an illusion. It makes your hair look thicker. Who doesn't want your hair to look thicker? And again, we're gonna even take it one step further. You can leave it like this, it's still cute. But I'm gonna cover up the ponio and use our open pins. They're amazing. They are non-damaging. So these open pins, they don't stab your head. They don't rip your hair out. They just look amazing. Okay, so it's as simple as this. You just take a piece of the ponytail on the bottom and wrap it over the ponio. I'm actually giving it a little twist and then wrap because it's gonna give it a little more solid of a hold. So twist and wrap. Keep going, keep going until you hit the end, just like that. And then we're gonna take our fabulous pins. These intimidated me at first because I had no idea how to use them. The open pins, I was like, I don't get it. So once I learned, I was like, oh my gosh, total game changer. And I will never go back to a normal bobby pin again. Just watch how to use it, it's super easy. Just grab a piece of the hair and then slide it in towards the ponio. And boom, you have a secure, comfortable, super cute look. That did not take me that long. And again, no need for an expensive stylist. You are your own stylist. You can do this yourself from home. Please make sure to tag us if you do try this style or any other styles. If you wanna see any specific styles, don't hesitate to message us or leave a comment below and we will do whatever your heart desires because a ponyo can really do anything.